stay a while and listen. What is going on, my fellow nerds? Brace of Otter here, bringing you another episode of Stay a While and Listen. Today, we'll be discussing frame rate based breakpoints that correlate with attack speed and what they mean in terms of true attack speed increase. This is something a lot of top tier players use to optimize their builds to do optimal damage. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So every skill in the game works at a specific amount of natural frames, meaning that the lowest amount of weapon and stat based attack speed increase it will take that many frames for the game to render it on your screen. So to get an actual attack speed increase you simply want to reduce the amount of frames it takes to render that ability. Thing is, frames cannot be rendered at rational numbers, only natural numbers, being that they must be greater than zero with no decimals. So 29.57825, it ain't gonna work. Now, attacks per second in the game are displayed in irrational numbers, such as 1.76 to 2.14 or whatever to a maximum of 5.00. And say we take an ability like, I don't know, multi-shot for shits and giggles, and say it works naturally at 30 frames. Simple enough. We take 30, we divide it by 1.76, and you get 17.045. Since 17.045 isn't a natural number, though, the game needs to round it to one. Now, this is different in every game relating to the rules of rounding, but in Diablo 3, the designers coded it to round up, so you get 18 frames. Now, if you take 30 and divide it by 18, it equals 1.67. Therefore, 1.76 minus 1.67 equals 0.09. And this number being 0.09 means that we have extra attack speed in our gear that does absolutely nothing for us in terms of damage for multi-shot because we didn't hit the magic number to properly reduce the frames to 17. If we want to do that, we take 30 and divide it by 17, and we get 1.765. 0.005 attack speed off. Nice. Well, that's the magic number for 17 frames. And that number being 1.765 correlating to 17 frames of a multi-shot is called a breakpoint. So now let's head off to a handy tool so we don't have to calculate this dumb shit and just know exactly what we need for whatever build we choose to run called D3 Planner. Guys, so here we are at D3 Planner. If you've never visited the site or never heard of it, you should go ahead and get on that. It's actually a very cool tool to optimize builds to whatever you want to do. Sorry for it being bright outside. It's morning and the sun's just coming up and, you know, whatever. Go fuck itself. So anyways, so what we need to do is we're showing you this in terms of uh, attack speed breakpoints, right? So on each skill, you got this chart on breakpoints that tells you basically how many frames it takes at that attack speed to do this ability. And you're trying to go to the lowest one. So for Magic Missile, we see that 17 is the lowest frames. And it takes 3.883 to attack speed to do that. And for Shock Pulse, you can see it's 4.01 at 7. And for Spectral Blade, it's 3.75. And for Electrocute, it's 3.75. And, you know, so on and so forth. You know, whatever. Uh, in terms of mel uh, relevant meta, though, like for Hydra, this is something that Hydra build, like COE Wizards are trying to do. Uh, they want to get to 4.01 right now every archon build can actually hit the 3.05 right here but they want to hit the 4.01 so if we increase our attack speed up to 3.05 real quick uh we're at 24 frames and we want to show this like bubble of attack speed right so i'm going to go up to 4.01 um let's see. Oh, that's way too and why is it there we go hold on oh man this thing i swear is just so sensitive there we go nope i didn't have it there we go okay so at 4.01 um i'm still at 24 frames all right so this is this bubble that i'm talking about right uh for whatever attack speed i decide to have between 3.05 and 4.0159 is still going to render everything down to 3.5 or 3.05 so if you got 4.01 attack speed on your wizard uh, cool, your hydras are still attacking at 3.05. And if you give yourself one more attack speed, boom, it's at 18 frames. So if you just can't hit that breakpoint, reroll the stats into something that's actually going to benefit your build. Easy enough. If you can roll it into the extra attack speed, then fucking do it, because otherwise you won't hit the breakpoint. Common sense. So that's it for this episode of Stay a While and Listen, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas on what topic you'd like for me to cover next, type it in the section comment or the comment section below. You know, tongue twisters and words and words. English is hard. I'm Race of Otter, and as always, take it easy.